So this talk is, was it Mrs. Einstein's theory of relativity? There are various articles on the internet dealing with the possibility that Einstein's first wife was an uncredited contributor to Einstein's 1905 special theory of relativity. This is what uh, Wikipedia says about Einstein's first wife. Uh, she was studying physics with Einstein at Zurich Polytechnic, Zurich Polytechnic. So it says unknown to what extent she contributed to Einstein's early work, but she must have contributed something just unknown how much. So on this website, uh, Kirsten Hacker points out there are some people who are fans of believing Einstein is the sole genius of relativity, uh, unreasonable and want to refuse to accept the contribution of his wife. So let's look at someone unreasonable. So the article I'm referring to is by Paul Mainwood. So Mainwood thinks it just boils down to these two things shown here, but actually there's more than just these two things. But anyway, let's look at these two things. And so Mainwood claims that the first claim is not true. And when you look at the source for Jove, he doesn't actually say what is being claimed. So Mainwood goes to Jove's memoirs and quotes this from them. In 1905, this is Jove, three articles appeared in the Annals of Physics, which began three very important branches of 20th century physics. Those were the theory of Brownian motion, the photon theory of light, and the theory of relativity. The author of these articles, an unknown person at the time, was a bureaucrat at the patent office in Bern. Einstein Marity. Uh, Marity is the maiden name of his wife, which by Swiss custom is added to the husband's family name. And this is Jove, according to Wikipedia. So Maynard is saying, he says, there's nothing about having seen an original manuscript not of the relativity paper, nor of the other two papers. Nor is there anything about the name Einstein Marity appearing on any of these papers. Or Jove is doing his note in Swiss custom, which gives the credit of all three papers to one bureaucrat in the Bern Patent Office, i.e. by using the name Einstein Marity. Somehow, this passage seemed to have been misunderstood and scrambled into a claim of seeing a name on an original manuscript of one of the papers, which then further was interpreted as a claim that his wife co-wrote the paper. Incidentally, Jove is highly unlikely to have seen any manuscript of the 1905 relativity paper. So these are my comments trying to dig through the confusion that Mainwood is giving. Somehow, Jove saying the author of the relativity paper is by Einstein Marity. And that's somehow getting distorted into Jove seeing the paper was authored by Einstein Marity when no such claim was being made that I'm seeing the original paper. 
However, how did Jove know it was authored by Einstein Marity unless he saw the original paper question mark? He had no way of knowing if the paper was following the Swiss custom unless he saw the paper. Maybe he made a mistake. That is Jove. Maybe he made a mistake. Question mark. Unfortunately, we can't check with him now because he has long passed away. All we can say is that Joe thought it was Einstein Marity. Whether you accept that or not just becomes subjective. But the I believe Einstein, the sole author of relativity type of person, would just discard the evidence and, as Kristen points out, is thus unreasonable. So Mainwood goes on to the second claim, and this is a letter from Einstein to his wife Marek. Uh, and he says in the letter, how happy and proud I will be when the two of us together will have brought our work on relative motion to a successful conclusion. And he using the word R. So he's referring to him and his wife working on this physics. So Mainwood is trying to wiggle out of what uh, Einstein is saying in this letter. And he says, Mainwood says this, this is interesting, but it's clearly written by a young man deeply in love and wanting to look upon the couple as a team, even as one being. So my comment on, on that is yes, they were a team working on physics. So it's evidence that his wife was a contributor. Mainwood then goes on to point out there are many other letters from Einstein to America's wife where it is made clear who is doing the work and these clarifications appear both before and after this 1901 letter where he's referred to it as our work. A couple of examples, one each side of 1901, there are many others to choose from. And my comment on that as well, Einstein would have most likely been given his ideas in the letters and not repeating what Merrick said. Um, Mainwood just being unreasonable yet again. Going to his first example. So Mainwood referring to a letter from Einstein. So Einstein says in the letter, a good way of investigating how a body's relative motion with respect to the luminescence ether effects of velocity of propagation of light in transparent bodies occur to me in Aru. So in this example Einstein is referring to his idea but I, it's just something that Einstein thought of and he's not going into enough details there. So of course Einstein will have his ideas and presumably he would then combine them with his wife's ideas. He's not going to suddenly mention his wife's ideas when he's, which would just be repeating what his wife has said. He wants to say things that he's thinking about. So this is from another letter by Einstein. He's talking about his ideas again, and he says, my, Einstein says, my ideas about the electromagnetic theory of light for moving bodies uh, together with the experimental method. He doesn't refer to our ideas, he just refers to his ideas. It is, however, not a very insightful letter. Einstein does not say if he's going to incorporate any of his wife's ideas in such a paper, and he does not say if his wife had any ideas, etc. It's just, it's just a non-evidence. It's not evidence of anything. So Maywood then goes on to point out, we also have several Americks replies to these letters. She does not say anything technical about science in any of these letters but offers only general encouragement. And I'm pointing out, well, 
not all of his wife's letters to survive and I'll give a reference for that so once again it's lack of evidence just going by what evidence we have Einstein did refer to um, the working on physics as our work and he was treating his wife and himself as a team working on physics you want to ignore that you're just being unreasonable Mainwood then goes on to point out this he says it's also easy to see the contrast when we compare these letters to ones to and from Einstein's lifelong collaborators Marcel Grossman and Michel Bisso which are filled with theories formulae and speculations on physics both to and from Einstein the letters to and from Merrick have none of these so we can conclude from this is what I'm saying that Grossman and Bisso were definitely contributing question mark how much they were contributing would be another mystery so can dismiss what skeptics like Wayne would say if they want to believe that it was just Einstein working by himself without other people contributing to his ideas the mystery comes for those other people helping Einstein we don't really know how much of a contribution they made so these people who want to dismiss the possibility that Einstein had help uh, but in their attempts to do that they reveal that Einstein did have help just the problem becomes how much help is unknown Einstein as I pointed out earlier used the word R suggesting that they he and his wife were a team working on physics if don't want to believe that then have to dismiss Einstein as mistaken about that so skeptics are just becoming unreasonable we have these people aiding Einstein on his relativity theory and Einstein thought at one time well he revealed at one time that in his letter that he thought it was his himself and his wife working on it and how much contribution his wife made well that's unknown how much contribution these other people made Grossman and Bisso made well, that's also unknown finished thank you